walked into this place about eight years ago. It was up for sale and um, it was uh, put together for a record producer, Arthur Baker. So there's a soundproof room, which we're sitting in now, built into the loft. Uh, I have a space on top where I could do my artwork. I play drums in this room every day, and it seemed like it was custom made for me. And I think it's just magic. I have a big pop art influence. I love a lot of old genres like tiki, hot rods, and rock and roll, uh, superheroes, Saturday morning cartoons. People who have a creative inner self have that little bit of glow and spark become subjects for my work. I'm more of a muse. And I love to be, you know, someone's inspiration and actually being the canvas right now, it's wonderful. And he did such a great job. I mean, he showed me his sketchbook of ideas and I just initially went straight for the heart and he decided to freehand off of that. We were talking about stockings, painting on stockings. Yeah, I might do one like, like um, a garter belt. Working with Robert is yeah. like not working with anyone else. He's really big about the aesthetic of the process. So he is a really particular style, but he also really wants to work with the style of the person that he's photographing, because he works from the photographs. I brought my accordion the first time we worked together because I play accordion, and there's this beautiful painting. It's up at Grassroots Community Center right now of me with my accordion. I grew up in Central Jersey, was born in New Brunswick. I had three sisters and a grandmother living in the same house, and the way I got attention in a house full of girls was by doing nice little drawings as a kid and showing them to everybody. I taught myself how to paint and draw, and once I got to high school, I had a great art teacher who really encouraged me and told me um, to knock off my nonsense and put more time into it. I love you, Miss Fontenelle, because you put me on the right track. I worked for years as an illustrator for magazines, so a lot of those drawings were from my head after I would read a piece of copy. Ten years ago, I decided I was going to paint full-time and do something more fine art and be my own art director. I've spent my whole life working towards this, so I don't abuse it, and that's why I'm such a prolific artist and have stockpiles of canvas all around my loft. Jersey City has been welcoming me with open arms. I've lived in Hudson County my whole adult life. There's a great diversity and uh, art-loving community in Jersey City, plus a ton of artists. There was a great gallery called 58 Gallery on Cole Street, and when we moved in, my wife said to me, oh, you have to get into that gallery because that's the cool space to be. One of my early gigs was a exhibit at CBGB's before they closed. Maxwell's in Hoboken, which is a great rock and roll club, and also Asbury Lanes in Asbury Park. Nowadays, there's a lack of galleries, I feel, so I use a lot of alternative venues to show my work at. If they have good wall space and a good crowd, more people will see my work. I've gradually gotten to the point where people have found out about my art and I have a backlog of people who want to work with me and it's become my diary. I'm gonna do it till I die, you know? That's the plan. <laughs>